Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone. We are over that 15,000 subscriber mark. I am currently in preparations to destroy some gear uh, in a fashion in which I said we would do that. So that will be coming. I have lots of videos. I have Grandstream. If you haven't seen, Grandstream has uh, firewalls now, so we've got some Grandstream stuff coming. Uh, one of my next videos is going to be this uh, Cambium bridge in a box, a plug and play bridge. I also have. Da -na, da -na. That's right, I got my hands on an Amplify and Amplify HD, so we're going to be doing some Amplify videos. So we're going to amplify your life. But what we're talking about tonight is Facebook Wi Fi check in. All right. So let's go over to our controller. So this is our 5.6.22 controller. We've got Event Horizon. Uh, we've got the Greek word for museum as our switch. And we've got Pro. as our access point. And it has a Pro. And then uh, what I've done is I've set up a wireless network called Guest Facebook Check-In. It's going to be open. And I've tagged it as a guest network. So if you've watched previous videos, you know what that does. That sets up some of that firewalling between the clients. They can't get into our regular network and things like that. Now, you sh I, w I do want you to know you have to have a valid page. You have to have a, a local business or, or place page on Facebook that has a valid address associated with it for this to work. So if you don't have a Facebook page set up for a place, go ahead and do that first. Now I have one called uh, H5 Cafe that I've created and that's what we're going to use for this. So uh, we have created this guest Facebook check-in and we told it's a guest network so we're going to go over to guest control. We're going to enable the guest portal. We're going to check the Facebook Wi-Fi beta and the gateway name is going to be Happy Place. We're going to click apply. Now, if you screw this up, you have to undo it and redo it. That's the only way to redo this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this Go to Facebook Wi-Fi configuration. And it's going to come up. I'm signed into my Facebook page uh, already, so I didn't have to log in. But it's going to come up, and it's going to say what page, you know, you need to be the admin of a local business page that has a valid location. And it's going to ask you to select a page. So I'm going to select H5 Cafe. Uh, bypass mode. Your customers always have the option to skip checking in. They can do this by clicking on a link that lets them skip check-in or by entering a Wi-Fi code that you provided them. So we're going to require a Wi-Fi code if they think that they're going to skip this. And we'll just make it absurdly long. And then how long, because I'm probably not going to give this out, I want people to check in, right? I'm driving people to check in so people know you're using my facility. Session length, uh, half an hour, one hour, two hours. I think two hours is good. Terms of service, optional. Add your own terms of service. We can do that. We're just going to roll with this. I, I implore you to log into this and play with these settings. But we're going to go ahead and click save settings. Your settings have been saved. You can close this window. So we're going to close this window. And you'll notice that uh, nothing has really changed here. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my Ethernet real quick. And then we're going to open up the Wi-Fi and we're going to see what happens. Hmm. So let's try that. Okay, I have disabled my Ethernet. So my wireless uh, icon is down here. So we're going to see what connections are available to us. It's thinking about it. And... Uh, here is guest, guest Facebook check-in. So we're going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to tell it to connect automatically, and we're going to go ahead and connect. And it's going to say connecting, and it's going to check the requirements, and it's going to say, oh, what, what, how do you want to open this app? So we'll just tell it Google Chrome, because we're already in Chrome. And so now we're going to get redirected, and here it is. It says H5 Cafe, check in for free internet or click use Wi-Fi code instead. So we're going to check in. Who can see it? Our friends. 
So we're going to click check in. And the process is up, up, and away. And we have, we have checked in. So I could jazz this page up a little bit. But now we should be able to go to any other place on the internet. We're going to go to fast.com. This is my favorite new speed test service. This is the Netflix uh, speed test service. Now, I'm getting a mixed bag of results. First of all, this is the Wi-Fi inside my PC. Second of all, the access point is not even pointing <laughs> towards the PC. It's kind of hanging on this weird thing. But uh, that's it. So if you've got a business and you want to get people, you know, you want people to use Wi-Fi, but you want them to check in, this feature's here. It works really, 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 really easy now. So why not use it? It'll, you know, it'll generate some interest. You know, oh, hey, so-and-so was at H5 Cafe. I better go check that out, right? So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down below. They don't change your price at all, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep this lab gear rolling in so I can keep pumping out these videos for you. Uh, if you need consulting, please contact me. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.